Hey everyone, in this video tutorial I will be having a look over sensor MCP9805. To have a better idea of this sensor, go to controleverything.com and search for MCP9805. Uh, so it's a memory module digital temperature sensor. Uh, it's been using uh, in DIMM temperature sensor applications. Today I will be interfacing it with a uh, Raspberry Pi and a Java code. For the Java code, uh, go to the source tab and here is our Java code. Click on the Java code and uh, you will be able to download it from here. This Java code is also available on our GitHub repository control everything community. Uh, now let's have a look over the hardware connections and let's see how it works. Coming to the connection segment. First of all, we need a Raspberry Pi. These are the GPIO pins of our Raspberry Pi. Next, this is an I2C adapter. This adapter is available on the website controleverything.com. The importance of this adapter is that it really helps in making the connections with the other I2C devices rather easy. So, gently push this adapter over the GPIO pins of our Pi. Now, we need our sensor which is MCP9805. This is a connecting cable. Make this connection. Please make sure that while making this connection, the brown wire of this cable should be connected to the ground terminal of our sensor. And same goes for our I2C adapter. Now to power up the supply to Pi, this is what we need, a micro USB cable. So make this connection like this. Now this is an LAN cable. Put it to the Ethernet jack so that we can make our connection with the internet. If you don't have a LAN cable, you can use this Wi-Fi module. So this is the connection which we will require in this project. So let's move forward and see how our code is. For interfacing with our temperature sensor 9805, uh, we need a java code so go to github.com and here search for control everything community as you can see click on it and here you will find your sensor mcp9805 this is our java code as you can see uh, one important note is that we have used pi 4 j library on our raspberry pi for its working and this link provides the installation procedure to install pi 4 j on our raspberry pi Please do it before running the code and this command compiles the java code and this com command uh, runs the java code. Please keep in these commands as we will be needing them later on in the working. Go to java and uh, here is our java program with .java extension. Here we have imported pi4j libraries and created a class named mcp9805. 0x18 is the address of our sensor MCP9805. Coming to the writing part, we have selected configuration register having address 0x01 and are sending a data of 2 bytes uh, consisting of 0x0000. So this is the command to write. Next we are selecting a resolution register having address 0x08 and setting a resolution of 0.0625 with the help of 0x03 command. And this is the write command here. For the reading part, we are sending a block of data to read from 0x05 and reading 2 bytes of data. This is the conversion formula which is described in the datasheet of MCP9805. At the end of the code, uh, we are printing temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So this is how our code is. Now let's see how it works with our sensor. First of all, copy this entire code and go to the terminal here. Here, create a new file with the name uh, and the extension .java. Paste the entire code and save it. Now, to compile the program, we have our command as you can see and the code is being compiled as you can see. So, uh, while the code is being compiled, you can check and the code is compiled successfully and now we are running our sensor 
the temperature has come now when I'm pressing my finger and running the command the temperature changes and again running the command there is a slight change in temperature so we can see the code is working properly and uh, now let's proceed further uh, we have just seen the interfacing of our temperature sensor MCP9805 using a Raspberry Pi and a Java code so this sensor has industry standard two wire I2C SM bus interface and uh, memory module temperature check so these features make it ideal for sophisticated multi-zone temperature monitoring applications like uh, dual inline memory mode which is DIMM hard disk drives and other PC peripherals and so on this sensor is available on our website controleverything.com the java code is available on this very site as you can see the java code is also available on our github repository control everything community in case of any queries you can contact us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments on our community page if you want to check our article and blogs you can check us on hexter.io and also on instructables for other videos and tutorials you can also subscribe our youtube channel in the end uh, you have a good day and thanks for watching